In this section, we're going to be taking a look at a pull block. A pull block is when an offensive lineman moves laterally before engaging with a defender to give the offense an additional blocker at the point of attack. This is what it looks like in practice. So we have number 51 here. They're going to be executing the pull block for us. It's going to be the guard on the right side of our formation. Now they're going to be pulling, they're going to be utilizing the pull block going right. And so the first step you're going to want to do is step backwards with the foot that you're going to be going in that direction. So what I mean is, since we're going to the right, his right foot is going to be the one that moves back first. And you're going to want to drop that right foot back and point it towards the sideline. And now what you're going to do is move laterally behind the line of scrimmage. And you're going to be the lead blocker in this scenario with number 81. You sort of have two lead blockers on this specific play. So you guys are going to be the first two to run through the hole. In this run, we're going to be coming off of number 89's shoulder. So they're executing sort of a reach block to try to seal off. Number 88's working up to the second level. And then number 51, you're just going to hit the first player that comes through that hole, which in this scenario is going to be a defensive back. Hey, if you've made it this far in the video, I'm going to ask that you drop a like and a sub as the support on this channel would help us out a ton in forwarding our mission to educate the next generation of athletes about sports through gaming. If you want access to over 200 videos just like this one, check out xpcamps.com where you can gain access for as low as $4.99. Alright, let's jump back into the video. Now with the pull block, one of the advantages that we have is getting an extra blocker at the point of attack. The second advantage that we get is we can start getting a mismatch um, in the blocking game. And so with this offensive lineman, typically offensive linemen are going to be your bigger players on offense. In the pros, they're going to be around 280 to 300 plus pounds. So you have a 300 pound person running at a defensive back who in the pros is typically between 200 and 220 pounds. And so that's a big weight difference. And as you can see, that's really gonna play to our advantage right here as number 51 just pancakes this defensive lineman. And now we have a lot of room to work on the outside with Penny. And so that's the advantage right there is A, you get a mismatch, and then B, you get an extra block at the point of attack. So as you can see, we have number 88, number 89, number 81, and number 51 blocking for us on this play. Now, if we didn't pull number 51, what would happen is we would have three blockers going up against four defensive players. And that's not ideal for us because one defensive player is obviously going to get a free shot at our running back. And so pulling the guard in this situation actually evened out the numbers where there's four defensive players and now we have four blockers and we even have the advantage because we have a guard matched up on a defensive back. And so these are the two benefits of the pull block and this is what it would look like in practice. 